welcome back to my channel and for the new viewers welcome 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 today's video is another global eats video and i'm really excited about these videos because i love snacks like i keep telling y'all i love snacks and i love traveling so why not join the two together and make a great video right the global eats video is going to be by snack crate and this is the company that i actually use all of my snacking needs for. This company is pretty awesome. The shipping of the product actually comes every month as timed and if you want to go ahead and subscribe to them and get these products, I'll link that all in the description box below. I'm gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up and let's see what country we have today. <laughs> Alright, so the country that we have today is Canada. <laughs> Canada. Inside the box, as we start off, you have Canada or Canada. Oh, actually, before we start, I heard of a joke, Canadian joke. How do Canadians spell Canada? C A N A D A. That's, yeah. I thought it was a funny joke. It's like one of those knee slapper type jokes, right? Whatever. Snack Crate Company provides just a little bit of insight about the country, small little details, everything that is inside the box, and little snacks that are inside the box. So all of that is inside your box right there. One thing that's pretty interesting is, what is this? So this one came in, it's beat the heat. Summer is here and that means some of the items can melt or get soft through warm temperatures during transit. Place your crate in the refrigerator for three to four hours before enjoying our best snack experience. So summertime's around, they're just giving you a little ideas of how to keep your stuff fresh. Also with this, you have really cute Canadian stickers. I'm not a sticker person, so yeah. And then also the Snack Crate sticker. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. So these are the products that are inside. Pretty interesting, right? It's a big bag of ketchup potato chips, so it looks like. So we have five snack items today. The first one is the Old Dutch Ketchup. And I guess they're chips. They look just like this. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Let's try it. Yeah, it smells just like ketchup. And they look like red, pretty much red little red chips. It was at this moment that Emily knew. She fucked up. I don't like it. <clears throat> nah. This tastes like really vinegary ketchup. I don't like it. It tastes, it tastes straight like ketchup. I, um, I like ketchup, but chips on ketchup, I don't know. It tastes weird. Like, this tastes kind of weird. So I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this at all. Oh my god. Yeah. This is really... It's really vinegary. And I do like salt and vinegar chips. That's why this is kind of weird because I like salt and vinegar. I, love, I like the sour type of taste. But this is really strange. It is vinegar, ketchup, barbecue-ish other taste like old chips I don't know not not a fan so for the for the old Dutch ketchup flavored chips hell no all right the next one is super passion flaky and it looks like apple raspberry mm, like a pastry like an apple raspberry pastry so it's just right here it actually looks pretty good I'm interested in trying this bad boy out Mmm, that smells so good. Ooh, that smells so good. I'm gonna try a little piece of it. And this is really, really flaky. And it, yeah, it looks like it has, oh sh, I'm like dropping stuff. All right, so it looks like it has, it's really, really flaky dough. Um, and it has raspberry and, mm, raspberry and some type of cream. The corner that I took, it's the edge. And you know how sometimes when they when they make pastries, most of the filling's like in the middle of it. So I'm gonna try this one, but then I'm also take another bite. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's not too bad actually. I like this. Uh yeah, the, the dough is really flaky and I like that. But this is not, yeah, this is not bad. I like this. that sucks is it's a little messy because like the flakes are everywhere but yeah this is really good I love sweets too so this one's called the super passion flaky and 
apple raspberry. This is really, really good. Yeah, this stuff is good. Yeah. Mm. The only thing is, it's like it's flaky. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> I almost choked. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh god. All right. The next thing is uh, this one's called coffee crisp. Coffee crisp. And it looks just like that bad boy right there. I don't think that this would taste too bad. I mean, it looks like normal, you know, American type food. Cause Canada's right there. You would think like, okay, they have some American products, you know? All right, so this is kind of like a, I don't know whether to break this or to bite it. Oh, that smells, yeah, that smells, it smells like straight coffee. All right, so the thing is, I'm not a huge coffee fan. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I'm kind of neutral, you know? I'm not the type of person who needs to wake up. Oh, the first thing I need is my fresh cup of coffee. Nah, no. it's like one of those love-hate relationship type things, depending on the coffee, depending on how much creamer I put in there, depending on how much sugar I put in there. That is what defines my coffee. This smells really good, right? And it looks like that. Hopefully it zooms in for you guys. So what is that, what is that thick nutter butter? Okay, so in the States, they have this, um, this, I guess like pastry or like dessert called Nutter Butter. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna put the actual picture of it somewhere around here. But they're Nutter Butters and it's like um, peanut butter with chocolate. It's so freaking, oh my God, it's so good. This reminds me of it, so I'm gonna try it and see exactly. Mmm, mmm, okay. It smells like coffee. But it's not that, it doesn't really have a really strong coffee taste. It's more of like a chocolatey, I don't know what this other flavor is. Maybe nougat or something, but it's good. It's crunchy. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. Oh my, this is good. I like chocolate too, boy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's like a crunchy chocolatey wafer. Chocolatey coffee wafer. And it it's kind of weird because when you first bite into it, it has kind of like this refreshing, like cold feeling, cold sensation. I don't know what that extra flavor is in there, but that's bomb. Yeah. The next one that I have is something called Wonder Bar. Wanda. Wanda Bar. I think it's Wanda Bar. Like, <laughs> Wanda Bar. Uh, it looks just like this bad boy right here. It says a peanut butter caramel experience. Wow, these bars are like winning right now, so we'll see. We'll see what this bad boy has. What it tastes like. I'm gonna open it up real quick and try it out. Oh, hell no. See, I don't know about this because I thought there was gonna be other ingredients. Oh my god, no. No, oh my god. I don't know about this because I hate when I eat something and it sticks to my teeth. So I hate. I do like uh, what's up? I do like narrators, but I hate the fact that they stick to my teeth. I don't like anything sticking to my teeth because it just I don't know. It's kind of gross. I don't like that. And this seems like it's definitely gonna stick to my teeth, so I'm not gonna be a fan of this. I can already tell. But it looks just like a regular I don't know, just a regular candy bar, I guess. Chocolate with I guess caramel on it. Oh my god. Yeah. It's sticking to my teeth, so I don't like it. I'm sorry. It's not bad of a taste. It's kind of like a... Maybe like a Butterfinger almost. That's what it kind of tastes like, but... I just don't like the fact that it sticks to my teeth. And... Yeah, I don't like that. The taste is not bad. I just don't like the fact that it sticks to my teeth. Next. So the next one that we have is... It looks like a lollipop. So, it's like this. And it has the maple leaf, so I'm assuming that it's maple syrup. Oh, and then on the back it says 100% pure maple syrup. So that's exactly that's exactly what that is. Pure maple syrup, baby. I can't believe people just go around eating maple syrup like that. Like, you know, I would put that on with pancakes. I don't think I would sit there with a lollipop licking up maple syrup. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. To each his own. To each his own. I'm gonna open this thing up. Ooh, yeah, it smells like maple syrup, and it's just a regular lollipop. It's pretty cute though. Like I do like the little maple 
design on here. So to truly taste this, I'm gonna have this in my mouth for a while. I don't think that I could sit there and eat a bunch of these like you know how lollipops are kind of sweet this has like a really it does have a rich flavor to it so you know that it's maple syrup or whatnot but I don't think I could just eat this like I don't think I could eat this for a long period of time I don't know I know that there's a um, there's a youtuber out there she's from Canada her name is Hey Paris yeah her name is Hey Paris I watch her all the time subscribe and everything and I want to know if she would eat this because I know she's from Canada but it's kind of weird because like, I don't know, I, I can't do it. I, I can't. I mean, it's it's all right, but I just can't, I can't finish that. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my Global Eats video. So, so far, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna go back and recap. Uh, this right here, trash, I don't like it. It tastes disgusting. This, it's it's really gross. It's chip with ketchup, vinegary, barbecue-y nastiness. I don't know. I like chips too. Like I. I love chips, crisps, whatever you guys call it. Potato chips, I love the Doritos, um, Pringles, um, anything. Like, I, I love chips. But this flavor right here, no. Nope. The next one that I tried was this, which is so, oh gosh, hold on, this is flaky. All right, this, which is really, really good, and it is the Super Passion Flaky. Oh my goodness. This is like extra flaky. You're right, it is flaky. This is by far is my favorite because it's really light. I do like flakiness. I hate the fact that you have you do have to clean up, you have to be careful because there's flakes and stuff all over the place, but this is good. This is really good. The next one is the coffee crisp, which is this right here. I have no problem with it. It's just right now I'm not really I'm not really feeling that chocolate mood, so I'm gonna give this to somebody else and they'll enjoy it. But this one's not too bad. It's kind of like like I said, another butter bar. And it has, it just has a little bit of taste of coffee in it. So, A plus on that one. The next one is the Wonderbar. Yeah, the Wonderbar, which looks like this. It tastes good, but I just hate the fact that it's sticky. I don't like stuff sticking to my teeth, but it does have peanut butter, caramel, and chocolate in there. So if you're a peanut butter, caramel, chocolate lover, there you go. Try the Wonderbar. And then the last thing is the good old lollipop, which um, I'm, not a, I'm not really a huge fan of that one. So this right here is my winner, and I'm about to tear this bad boy up. Yes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. But this thing is so, oh my god, so good. That's it for the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed these videos. This is some way of me sharing my traveling experience with you guys. And if you are in those countries and you want to send me a couple products. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe. I am at like 77 subscribers. Like, this is freaking awesome. I can't wait to reach 100. Help me reach 100 subscribers, guys. Go ahead and subscribe on that button if you're watching it. Thanks again for watching my video, guys. I really, really, really appreciate it. Until next time, bye. Like,